Oh, hello, uh, fellow geeks. This is the Meat Geek here with uh, a tutorial video. I haven't done a tutorial video for a long time, so this will be a, a first one in a long time. If you are a indie filmmaker like me who likes to design videos and uh, upload them onto YouTube, this, you'll find this video t video very helpful. Uh, perhaps uh, you want it, ever, ever wanted to design a video within a video, like a smaller video on top of a larger video. Uh, there are programs to do that, uh, such as Adobe Premiere and Sony Vegas, to name just a few. Of course, these uh, programs cost a sh uh, a shoveled. Um, you, could, you, sh you can shovel out perhaps a, a wheelbarrow full of money for those such software, and uh, it would be quite costly. So, I'm going to show you how you can design a video within a video, overlay a little video over a larger video, 100% free with some free software. The software, of course, is called Wax 2.0 and follow with me as I show you how to get the soft free software and how to install it and basically how to use it to make a video within a video. So here we go. Um, what you need to do, okay, you need to get your browser ready, whether it be Firefox, uh, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, basically whatever you feel comfortable with. Personally, I like to use Internet Explorer. I like to use Firefox that was my uh that was my uh my inbox on my <laughs> that was my email so sorry about, about the, dis the interruption there so what i like to do is i use firefox for my browsing so i'll just paste in the the uh link here the the website you need to go to is www.debugmode.com/wax that's the program You'll need web the program web software website. You'll need to get the software, the free software. So um, I like to click on the uh, the link here where it says download, and you'll see a list of download links. Uh, doesn't really matter which one you click. You have a choice. Um, if you speak German, you may want the German website. But uh, if you speak English, like most most people here, uh, you may want to click one of the three here. I'll click on from download.com so I'll click that one and you'll you'll be you'll be um, delivered to the CNET downloads website click on download now immediately and it will begin to download okay and you want to save the file onto your desktop or perhaps onto your folder download folder what, whatever basically is comfortable for you now you will need a uh, a zip opening a, zip, a, a program that opens zips now uh, I pr I'll provide a link in the description of this video where you can download a free program that uh, uh, allows you to open zips so let's just assume you have this program so make sure you uh, are taking notes here and I got the program here un unzipped now I'm going to extract it so the program I need to go to click extract button right here and whatever program button that it says on yours but it should say extract click on the desktop button extract it onto your desktop Okay, close that folder close that folder and you should have wax 2.0 on your desktop now we're going to install it onto our computer computers so click on the icon say yes when it asks you for approval um, look over the software information uh, it, it, it should be alright uh, just just don't sell this software and you should be okay it's free software so just say yes to everything yes 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 make sure you have a lot of room on your hard drive because it does take a lot of memory and it does take a lot of RAM so you'll need a, a good amount of computer space for this kind of designing program click yes 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 click finish um, you don't have to read me but okay let's see what happened here 
debug mode. All right, we got the program. Now I, I, I like to make it a little easier on myself and for you too. Um, I'm going to copy, paste the icon. Now I have the icon on my desktop. Now I'm going to now I'm going to open up the program and you see a nice Wax 2.0 program. And this is Media Pool. This is where you can add media files to our to a program. Now the I should mention it's very important that you know this. The program uh, Wax 2.0 only accepts uh, AVI fo files, so you will need to uh, use this program. The following program is um, any video converter. So I'm just going to click, click on this button here, and there's a link in the description on this video where you can download this program for free. It's one, it won't cost you one red cent. And you can down, you can in, uh, you can install that program. And once you've installed it, I'll assume that you've installed it. Make sure to pause this video at any any time that you need to to take a break and to take notes or to do what I need to you need to do. Now we have the AVI fault file. That's the file that's going to be converted to. I'm going to program. Okay, wait, it's going to go to the desktop that's where we want it to go <coughs> I'm gonna add two videos where I'm going to add to wax click on these two here shift down okay not that one shift control no, control Daffy Duck and a Dinosaur and London Rogues like open very good now we got these two software files these two uh, file videos. Now we're going to convert them to AVI files so they can be compatible with Wax 2.0. Now I'm going. C now I'm converting them, and this could take a while. So by the time you finish seeing this video, it will time will, time will have elapsed. Okay, so the video has been converted. Both videos have been converted. So. It asks you, uh, do you want a, the special deal? Just say no thanks. Okay, those are the files that you have. They're in an AVI folder on your desktop. What you need to do is close that. Close that. Okay. <clears throat> Go to Wax 2.0. Now, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, is we're going to insert our our videos. Now, now listen very carefully, cl cl closely to what I'm going to do. Now first video we're going to place is add video, video, video files <coughs> go to AVI click on Daffy Duck and the Dinosaur that's what I'm going to do <laughs> click on your first video that's what I'm okay so this is the first video I'm going to do no particular reason it's, it's a simple video cart, cartoon uh, royalty free and I'm going to click left click and drag it onto the onto the first bar or the first uh timeline and just to make sure it's there it's, yep it's safe yep it is safe so um, let's try if we can drive drag the sound there too All right I uh, all right. So now we got that done. I'm I'm not, for the sake of this video. I'm just going to delete the uh, the sound just for this for this video. But you can add sound later. Um, we c you can always add sound on in your in your video m movie maker. So the next step you'll need to do, you'll need to take. To action is go to video plugins it's the next tab to the right click on quick 3d okay and you want to left click and drag it right onto the vi first video strip the first video timeline you'll find a option here it says quick 3d arrow now 
we're going to adjust the size of this video. So what we need to first do is expand our control panel. So the scale X, we want to change this to 0 0.3. Okay. By scale scale Y 0 0.3 or 300. Okay. Now we also want to make it negative zero three hundred and make it let's try three hundred for pause Y. For pause X and now we're doing pause Y. All right, there you go, top left corner. Now we're going to uh, now minimize this, minimize that. Now we're going to add the second video, the main video. See, notice how I'm putting the f the smaller video first and the larger video second. So we're going to add the second mo movie. Movie. Click on London Rogues, and you'll see my video is yours truly with a microphone in front of some at ats. <laughs> you can see right there. Very good. Now we're just going to test it to see if it works. And lovely. What do you see here? We see the smaller video, uh, the Daffy Duck video, playing on top of yours truly's video um, simultaneously. So we'll just stop that and we're going to now save what we did. File, save as. Well, let's well, let's call this file. Let's call this file. Trial. It's lowercase. Trial. Video. Within. Video. All right. I'm going to save that. Save that file. All right. Now we saved it. Now we're going to go to settings and I like to make the frame rate 3 30.00 and we're going to name the file of course you can you can also uh, enhance your video to make sure it's HD uh, there's a way there's a videos on online where you can make HD videos but for the sake of this this video and for time we're going to make a very regular uh, low resolution video not a high resolution video. We're just going to make a very simple video just to show you how to do this. So if you have the technical know-how how to make uh, HD videos, then all power to you. Make a make a HD video version of this. So of this kind of video. So first we're going to name this video and we're going to call it trial. This is the actual video itself. We just named the the wax file. Now we're naming the AVI file video within video so I'm just typing it in All right. so now we're saving it okay save one more time now we're going to render it now the render button is right here it's the green arrow click that left button here and it's rendering okay the video has been converted so now we're going to exit from this software here, Wax 2.0. All right. Move any junk out of the way. Now we're going to open trial video within video. Let's hope it works. Double click, left button, and uh, there's yours truly. Uh, moving a little bit fast, but uh, as you can see, uh, a video over top of another video and uh, uh, of course uh, perhaps there's some hints uh, you could have <laughs> how to slow down the video is probably the frame rate but as you can see like for example if you wanted to make a video uh, and and add a, a sort of an epilogue where you have different videos on top of your video you could add that as your video 
different link, different YouTube buttons with with YouTube video buttons. Now, uh, in my next video, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to have multiple video buttons. So that's all for for this tutorial. Thank you for spending time with me and and sh letting me show you how to do this. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.